Jeanette was in a class at university when she first experienced a panic attack. She didn't know what was happening. It was slightly terrifying, the whole experience, um, because it was something I didn't, hadn't have experienced before. Um, and it was something really physical, but related to something mental, and I didn't know what to do about it. Jeanette said she was unable to talk and felt a horrible pain in her chest. It took several trips to the doctors before she was diagnosed with anxiety. I'd heard of anxiety and depression before, but I didn't know uh, the real physical symptoms of how it manifests and how it actually made people feel. I understood that people felt shortness, shortness of breath and um, that kind of thing, but I didn't know that it led to symptoms like having chest pains or headaches or stomach issues. She says her anxiety is brought on by a fear of failure and of how other people will judge her. Casual racism in the street, it really does affect your mental health and Islamophobia or misogyny, it does, kind, it does really generate a kind of fear and fear is the baseline for anxiety. I always think about if there's going to be some kind of racist incident happening today, even if it's not locally to me, it'll be to friends or family or people that I know. And she's not alone. Thousands of people in Wales are living with anxiety and many will even go to A&E because of it. Here in the Swansea Bay area, around 3,000 people were admitted last year. One doctor even says it's affecting patients as young as seven years old. We are seeing an alarming number of uh, rise in the number of patients presenting with anxiety symptoms. And it is one of the commonest mental health issue we are seeing in primary care. It is uh, the stress of modern age and the loss of community and people are feeling more isolated and lonely than ever. Dr Shanti says some patients will be prescribed medication to treat their symptoms, but it's not the answer for everyone. Different technique works for everybody. Relaxation techniques uh, can include like meditation, deep breathing exercise, um, so to name a few basically. Rather than med medicine, the main thing when they do come to see us, we speak to them and then refer them to see a counsellor or talk therapist. And talking about the issue could be the first step to solving it. Kiriko Anenis, ITV News.